Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Sébastien Defort. I'm uh, from uh, Onera, the French uh, Aerospace Research Center, and I'm currently leading the uh, MDO and Integrated Concept uh, team uh, in the Systems Department. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the, the organizer for giving us the opportunity to present uh, our, our work. And when I say our, you see that there are many authors to this presentation. Uh, the work are coming from uh, uh, a lot of my colleagues, uh, you know some of them from the AIAA uh, community, so I will try to, to, to represent their, their work correctly. So uh, I will try to uh, give you a talk on uh, how we use OpenMDO at Onera to enhance our MDO capability. Uh, and in the program it was entitled FastOAD and uh, WhatsApp, which might have seemed a bit cryptic for you. So uh, I take the challenge that you understand at least what it's about at the end of the presentation. And I will uh, first give a, a bit of context of what we are doing in MDO at Onera, then a focus on our conceptual aircraft design tool FastOAD based on OpenMDO, uh, a complementary uh, focus on some um, advanced method that we develop using OpenMDO, and a final uh, focus on the WhatsApp web application which is used to generate uh, MDO code. So first of all, uh, why do we use MDO? So, at Onera, our role as a national institution is to uh, prepare the future of uh, air and space transport, incorporating some, uh, some technologies and uh, the related supporting uh, design tool. Some examples given here in the field of uh, air transport are, of course, the goal of lowering the, the environmental footprint with several different uh, airframe concepts, such, such as blend and wing body or strut breast wing or propulsion integration, such as BLI, or uh, distributed electric uh, propulsion. But we also have activities in the uh, reusable space transport, uh, the study of reusable launcher, different types uh, of it. So these are complex vehicles, new vehicles, for which we need uh, multidisciplinary approaches to do so. So how do we do that at, at Onera? Um, we have several departments specialized in uh, different disciplines able to define various fidelity parametric models. And we want to tackle the compromise between the level of fidelity and the exploration capability that we have. So we want to integrate these models and uh, develop numerical exploration methods. Um, this leads to have a conceptual MDO, but also high fidelity MDO that we try to merge. Uh, so on the conceptual MDO uh, world, we develop global surrogate-based optimization technique with mixed continuous discrete variables, multi-objective, and mostly MDF formulations. Our colleagues from aerodynamics and structure are developing uh, adaptive meshing, efficient solvers, couple adjunct methods, and bliss-like, sometimes, formulation. And to go for mixing both, we need some adaptive DOE, some multi-fidelity surrogate model, and advanced formulation with uh, a concern about uncertainty quantification. So for that, uh, at each uh, time, a framework is needed. So for long, we have uh, had some reflections about the framework. And in the early ages of uh, our work, namely before 2015, we tried to assess a lot of various off-the-shelf uh, things. You have an example of the uh, uh, Phoenix Integration Model Center that we widely used at some, at some time, but also MATLAB scripts, even uh, doing MDO with Excel was uh, possible at some time. Uh, but uh, of course, we identified the limitations and the main needs that we would like to have something open source to be shared by all the partners. Uh, we would like uh, possible custom adaptation, standardized interface, and so on. And at some point, we made the choice not to develop our own environment, and to go for OpenMDAO, as you folks were doing that much better than we would have done. So after that, uh, all of our developments were uh, side developments around OpenMDAO to meet some specific needs. For example, to tailor application-specific process, that will be the example of FastOAD, to use um, use cases for publication and teaching, that will be the second part of examples I, I'll describe, and uh, to help the uh, process architect through code generation, which will be one of the purpose of the WhatsApp application. So first of all, talking about conceptual aircraft design. Um, 
Conceptual aircraft design, uh, what are the needs for uh, exploring new concept of uh, aircraft? We need to assemble different disciplinary modules in a consistent uh, parametric process able to size a given aircraft upon top level requirements such as range, PAX number, etc. You have the example of the disciplines involved, for example, on the blend and wing body design. And four years on this application of blend and wing body, we have uh, defined some open MDO component for all the disciplines and a very specific tailored process uh, to that assembling all the uh, open MDO modules. But um, we needed something uh, a bit more uh, generic and more flexible to, to do a variety of concepts. And at some point, we decided to launch the development of the first OAD uh, conceptual design framework. So this is uh, an open source framework. You can find it on, uh, on GitHub. It is jointly developed by Onera and the Isaiah Supero uh, Engineering School. It is, uh, as I will describe, based on OpenMDAO, and it automates the MDA, MDA and MDO for overall aircraft design uh, studies, concept evaluation, optimization. So basically, you have the XDSM representation. It includes a set of conceptual design models for uh, geometry, weight, estimation, handling quality, aerodynamics, propulsion decks, performance, computation, here, and uh, we want to reach modularity, which means that we can replace each model or some model by higher fidelity or uh, specific needs of a given concept. So more insight on uh, how it works, this uh, fast OAD. It's based on the liber library principle. So um, we define our fast OAD uh, model, and each model is a standard MDA, open MDO component with some additional uh, identifier which declares it at a fast OAD, as a fast OAD uh, component. And uh, we have developed currently two open source libraries of modules, one for the A320-like aircraft, it's a short medium range aircraft, and one for general aviation, and they are both uh, also available, you can get these, uh, these libraries. Once we have the libraries, then all the modules are assembled through a configuration file that defines the multidisciplinary analysis. Um, you can get the modules if you have them on, the, on your own computers uh, from, the, from the folders, or you can install uh, the modules that are available uh, on the open source distributions. And then uh, the modules and sub-modules are called uh, through their identifier here to uh, do uh, the OpenMDAO problem. So the OpenMDAO problem is automatically generated uh, while with connecting uh, the variables of the problem. For example, here, if you have discipline one uh, output, which is named E, it will automatically connect to uh, the input of discipline two, which is also named E. So it is based on a st standardization of the names at the beginning, and it generates the OpenMDAO problem and also the input files with the independent variables and the output files with all the variables of the problem. So it also comes with some uh, pre and post processing tools uh, based mostly on Jupyter uh, notebooks. Uh, so you have, for example, the capability to, uh, to input the different variables to post process geometry, weight, and trajectory characteristics of, uh, of the aircraft. So some example of results that we could obtain with uh, fast uh, it's, it's used. It has been used in the recent years for many uh, applications. So one example is the um, optimization, uh, mixed variable global optimization of a hybrid electric uh, transport aircraft. So in that case, um, we had a lot of uh, discrete variables describing the architecture, number of motors, number of electric cores, number of generators, cables, location, etc. And we wanted to perform the optimization. And we used the in-house SIGO MOE uh, optimizer uh, that performed well to find the uh, optimum. And this is a paper for one of our PhD students, Paul uh, Sav, and uh, I don't know if I've the right to, to tell it, but we've been officially notified uh, of that. Uh, it, it will be award, awarded the um, 
Best Paper Award AIAA 2022. So you might have the opportunity to talk with Paul at uh, next uh, SciTech uh, if you want more details on the, on the work. Another example is that we use FAST OAD to, to design a um, strut braced wing hydrogen aircraft, so very conceptual work, but the modularity and flexibility of the conceptual aircraft design tool enable to compare several types with or without strut braced, with or without hydrogen, kerosene, and compare the figures of merit of this kind of aircraft. So that's for the um, conceptual aircraft uh, FAST OAD part. Then, um, kind of intermade with three examples of uh, other uses of, uh, of, of, of OpenMDAO in our uh, work. Uh, the first one is uh, the use of OpenMDAO applied to UAV design. We have currently a PhD student uh, working at Onera and uh, ENAC uh, who is uh, developing a tail seater vehicle which was specifically designed for the uh, International Micro Air Vehicle Conference. So you have an example of the, the UAV and its trajectory. And it's using an MDO process originally with aerodynamics and structure consists, uh, defined with open aerostruct, uh, weights and performance module, and another propulsion module that was added. And apparently MDO works because the, 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 the UAV won the competition at, uh, at IMAV. So, uh, that's a proof that we can design real things with uh, MTO. And uh, Luis has the intention to enrich the work using DIMOS uh, to, uh, traject for trajectory optimization and control feasibility in the, in the future steps. So we will do um, an extensive use of uh, OpenMDO capabilities here. A second example comes from uh, my colleagues working on launcher design. Um, on launcher design, we uh, have tried to do uncertainty quantification on the, and sensitivity analysis on the trajectory. So the goal was to use uh, DIMOS for, uh, in a framework coupling an all-at-once formulation, which is described on the, on the figure. It means that uh, we feed directly the trajectory with all the, the disciplines. And on top of that, we define some uncertain parameter and we want to know the figure, the, the sensitivity of the trajectory to these, uh, per, to these uh, uncertain parameters. So we need to compute the derivatives of the optimal uh, objective function with respect to the uncertainties and not to the design variables, which means uh, there is the need for post-optimality analysis. So uh, I won't go into detail, but uh, my, my colleagues find a way to do this post-optimality uh, an analysis uh, by performing for each uh, uncertainty uh, realization the whole process, uh, overall DIMOS optimization, and then post-treat uh, the, the SIP result to extract the Lagrange multipliers, uh, which was a bit uh, difficult. So there are some uh, requests regarding DIMOS capability on that. So if you want to see more about their, their results and what it gives us dispersion of launcher trajectories, you can have a look at their uh, paper. And finally, in this uh, intermed, um, we are also using uh, OpenMDAO for teaching activities uh, at the ISAE Supero. Uh, my colleagues are, up among all, um, using Open Aerostrix for, for, for their um, MDO teaching at, at ISAE, and also at the Ecole Polytechnique in France, uh, in my, my colleagues from the launcher world are using a dedicated uh, launcher design process, also open source if you want to get a look, uh, to, to, to teach MDO to new students. So OpenMDAO is also spread in the uh, aerospace uh, engineering schools uh, in France through these, uh, these courses. So coming to the final part of the presentation is about the WhatsApp uh, developments that we performed. And I entitled this new development because uh, the WhatsApp principle was uh, presented at uh, AIAA in 2019 uh, by Thierry Lefebvre. Um, but there has been some more developments. So first of all, I will recall what is, uh, what is WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is a web application for, for MDO. 
So basically, uh, it comes in your browser interface where uh, you can uh, manually define your XD XDSM of your, the process you are doing by inputting the disciplines, inputting the uh, input variables, coupling variables, etc., defining optimization design variables, constraint optimization functions, etc. And uh, you can then execute your process into uh, OpenMDO environment and perform several exploration studies, such as DOE sensitivity analysis, uncertainty quantification, etc. And this is again an open source uh, tool which is uh, intensively developed by, uh, by Remy Lafarge, so you can contact Remy. He has done, uh, is not yet a YouTube star uh, as well as uh, John, but maybe one, one day. <laughs> um, but he, he has uh, developed some tutorial in video that you can uh, have a look if you want to learn more, more about WhatsApp. And you can also try it through uh, an, ex an external server, just ask Remy if you, if you are interested. In, in trying it. So more specifically regarding OpenMDAO, so once you have constructed your uh, design process, uh, what happens? Then uh, you can have uh, the export OpenMDAO here, which is automatically generating uh, the components and the structure and the OpenMDAO problem uh, corresponding to your XDSM. So here you have the example of the base component which is defining the input and output, and this will not be changed. And it also generates um, the compute implementation, so the, the compute discipline. Uh, this one, you have to input yourself, your, uh, the implementation of your disciplines once you have the skeleton generated by, uh, by WhatsApp. And also, uh, WhatsApp is able to generate the script to run the OpenMDO problem or to run some optimization, some DOE uh, estimation. Uh, some recent developments, so I won't go into detail uh, because of, uh, of, of timing, of course, but there has been uh, some, some recent development that you can go and see on, uh, on the YouTube channel. I will just men mention three of them. Uh, the one is the capability to define surrogate modeling. So um, you can, using the SMT tool toolbox that was mentioned uh, this morning, uh, uh, once you have your discipline, perform a DOE and replace it by a surrogate model and also assess the quality of the surrogate model uh, into the web application. Uh, another feature is the capability to perform uh, uncertainty uh, quantification to define um, a probabilistic variable and using the open source toolbox open terms then you can uh, propagate it and calculate some uh, some sensitivity uh, some sensitivity metrics and uh, I just mentioned it one time um, we also tried uh, to uh, switch from one MDO framework to another because we have our neighbors in, in Toulouse developing the GEMSEO frameworks that maybe you know uh, and sometimes uh, we, we have the need to uh, use this framework uh, instead of OpenMDAO. So uh, WhatsApp has developed this uh, capability uh, to switch from one to uh, another. And I will finish the WhatsApp presentation by um, describing a new uh, formulation that we have implemented into, into the tool which is called EGMDO for Efficient Global MDO. So here you have the description of a very generic aero structure problem, a coupled problem, to uh, compute a performance metric of an aircraft, for example. And a very popular idea to, uh, to solve this problem with high fidelity solver is to replace them by surrogate models. So uh, then, you, you replace uh, the two solvers, structure and aerodynamic, by surrogate models. But here comes the question of, of how to control the accuracy of the result that you obtain if you are not handling the real solver, the real high fidelity solver, but surrogate models. And using uh, the properties of the uh, Gaussian process that we use to, to, to do this, uh, to, to sample. Uh, this uh, multidisciplinary analysis, then we can see uh, what happens 
when we do the coupling with the surrogate models. So in dashed uh, lines, you have the real model and the crossing point is the solving of the, of the, MDO, of the MDA. Uh, and if uh, we use the surrogate models, then we have uh, the mean of the surrogates that are crossing at some point, but we can, with a Gaussian process, also have uh, uh, the, um, the, the dispersion of, of the model. So we can sample the surrogate model and have the distribution of where the uh, MDA solution is located. And it enables us to call uh, adaptively the two models to reduce the uncertainty and then find a, a good evaluation of the coupling of the two, of the two disciplines. So that's uh, the principle of the EGMDO that has been developed here. And uh, you can have more details in the paper from my colleagues here on the static aeroelastic problems with um, eight parameters uh, and uh, yeah, uh, using FEM and VLM uh, coupling. And this uh, application has demonstrated by that by using the AG MDO approach, we can divide by roughly three the cost of calling the real models uh, to solve the, uh, the, the MDA. So to, it's a quite a complex process, so to ease the implementation, we have implemented it with OpenMDAO into uh, WhatsApp. So starting from, again, from the classical uh, XDSM uh, problem, we can uh, define which disciplines are uh, replaced by surrogates and then automatically launch the, the, the script to perform uh, this MDA solving using WhatsApp. And you have here examples of iteration but of course, if you want more details, I can do some side demo at, at, at other time, but you can also go and see uh, the last video from Remy uh, on, on this uh, topic. So that was it about uh, the WhatsApp application. So coming to my conclusion, uh, as you can see, uh, OpenMDO has become uh, quite a daily tool at Onera. It's present in all our studies, all our design process, and used as reference for um, documented test cases, teaching, etc. <coughs> we have developed some capabilities uh, built upon OpenMDO. We are not really developing into. We are more uh, building something around and using it. Uh, and of course, uh, it's available to the community and we, we are happy to get feedback if you are, happen to use it. And um, we have some future steps because we feel that with that, we still a bit underexploit the capabilities of uh, OpenMDAO. For example, uh, currently, we do not make a very extensive use uh, of implementation of derivatives in all components because uh, we are gathering some historical components that not always bring these, uh, these capabilities. So uh, it's... Uh, it's a way of, of, of improvement. Uh, we want to go for higher fidelity. Our colleagues from aerodynamics and structural department are not yet fully integrating their tools within OpenMDAO, and we would like to uh, collaborate more intri intricately uh, with them. And we have a strong activity in the deployment of uncertainty quantification approaches within this, uh, this process. So final thoughts uh, about OpenMDAO. So as you've seen, we are using it uh, a lot. So we will continue and maintain and further develop our process. So um, one important thing for us is uh, backward compatibility. Uh, when uh, things happen to change, uh, at least being informed of that. But uh, I think the, the, the current process is, uh, is really um, is really robust for that because of the big changes uh, that recently occurred uh, have been well announced and enabled us to, to adapt our, our tools. Uh, and there is always good support from the, from the development team, that, what we appreciate a lot. Um, the second axis will be the, the UQ uh, design context. Um, so currently, uh, there's no type of probabilistic variables in OpenMDAO. So we're wondering if it um, may be a, a possibility to, to, to have it, the possibility to describe 
a variable with some distribution and uh, specific methods to handle that. Uh, and I already mentioned the post-optimal analysis as a, maybe a new functionality that could be very useful for our optimization and uh, sensitivity analysis. And with that, if you have any questions, there is a probability that I cannot answer, but I can divert the question also to my colleagues. Excellent. Thank you so much, Thanks. Sebastian. <laughs> Any questions? Hi, Sebastian. Uh, Hi. Really nice presentation and overview of the work you've done. Um, it's really nice to see all the applications of OpenMDO there, because it seems like it wasn't too long <laughs> when I was uh, a superhero with John Wang and we started a tutorial with Open Aerostruct, and then SuperO really took that and... Yeah, it has been uh, spreading yeah, a lot. It's, yeah. it's amazing, so well, <laughs> yeah. n very nice work. Um, uh, my specific question is on... Um, and also, I remember Justin went there, and Justin doesn't take many international trips, so, you know... Yeah, that, that was very honored that, to have Justin high for value, the first uh, European workshop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. High value interaction there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I do have a question though. It's uh, the surrogate models. Um, how many coupled, coupling variables do you have there um, between the Aeron structures? Hey, hey. Good question. And um, how many can you handle? Yeah. Um, so uh, cur currently, um, of course, if you are if you are using um, if you are using only Kriging models. You cannot go to very high dimension, uh, and here uh, I give me a number. Give me a number. Ten, hundred. <laughs> well, it could, it would have been ten if we stick to Kriging uh, model. But I, I did not describe everything. So in the in the paper, you will see that instead of using Kriging, uh, we are we are using uh, proper orthogonal decomposition uh, to model the fields, uh, to to model the fields. And we are actually interpolating with Kriging the coefficients of the proper orthogonal decomposition, which enable to um, to couple a, a larger, um, yeah, large, larger size of uh, of coupling variables, but only with a limited uh, variable of of Kriging uh, of Kriging models. Um, so I I I'll ask I don't I don't have the yeah. The so bottom line, the, the number of variables, I'm guessing half a dozen, once you do the POD? Well, yeah, but the POD is like an expansion out to the full field. Well, the, the, the yeah, POD, you, you can transfer all, basically all the field, or the, the, the aerodynamic field to the structural solver uh, once, you, once you have uh, uh, right. interpolated. But you have, you have interpolation errors, but, um, but... Sure, but bottom line, again, back to my question, how many coupling variables do you end up with? So how many variables, input variables, can you end on those surrogates? That's my question. Well, I understand that you're reducing the number, but to how many? Yeah. More yeah. or less? Uh, I, 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 I have to check, I have to okay. check. Uh, but uh, uh, as if we talk about the, the, um, the, the pod coefficient, the proper the pod coefficients, right. it's, uh, it's less than uh, five or six. Yeah, yeah, that's probably. Right. okay, yeah, but, got it, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So my question, <clears throat> excuse me, is about how you're doing mission analysis. I, I must have missed something because I thought at one point you said that implementing DIMOS was something that you wanted to do in the future, but then it looked like maybe you were doing it for off-design missions. I was a little unclear there. Could you explain how you're doing the mission analysis for this? Well, um, we are actually using DIMOS, but so for some specific application which I described. Uh, if I come back to the overall aircraft design application here, um, uh, yeah, let's go for this one, which is the, the OAD process that we have here. The mission evaluation is in the performance uh, module, and uh, we are not yet using DIMOS uh, directly in. We have uh, two options here uh, to illustrate the modularity of, of the code. 
Uh, first, we can, of course, use Breguet range equation, which is the simplest one. And we also have some time step integration, but Euler integration, the, um, the uh, classical way of doing, uh, of doing time step integration. We have uh, defined a, a mission analysis code separated in, uh, in phases, in, in, in uh, trajectory phases, with classical uh, forward integration uh, there. But one of the plans is at some point to introduce DIMOS uh, also, or DIMOS-like uh, optimization trajectory. But it's not yet the case in the distribution uh, of FastOID that you can find here. Great, thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, another another two minutes for questions. Do we have two questions or one question? No, oh, here we go. Uh, on your last slide, you mentioned using probability distributions as design variables. Yeah. Uh, could you elaborate on that? Especially, I guess my question is like, what would the derivatives mean in that case? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's probably one uh, one question. Um, I'm not the most qualified to to to, to answer. Um, my colleagues uh, um, Loic and Mathieu um, might probably be better at this. Um, about, about derivatives, um, well, I, I don't know exactly. But the 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 first problem is that uh, uh, solving an MDO problem. With, uh, with a probabilistic uh, uh, variable is not the same because uh, you have fuzzy coupling. So how, how do you define the satisfaction of coupling? Uh, so we had some reflections on, uh, on that. Uh, and us usually the usual way is to, uh, to, to consider each uh, uncertainty realization as uh, just one MDO problem uh, to solve. But it can be, it can be very, very costly. Um, I do not, do not have any specific idea. Maybe we can discuss for, further um, here uh, on, the, on the derivatives, uh, what it would imply uh, on, on the derivative if we introduce that type of variable in OpenMDAO, but that's uh, certainly one thing to, to, to be worked out. Sorry to, uh, not, not to be able to, to go deeper in, uh, on that direction. Okay, thank you. Um, you, you mentioned you had two execution options. One is using OpenMDAO, another one is doing, using GemSAO. When do you switch between these two, or, or what, what do you use? Why would you uh, use one over the other? Well, um, it, was, it was more like a, a proof of concept that is implemented so far, uh, because uh, we have developed WhatsApp uh, tailored to, um, to, to OpenMDAO, uh, but at, at some point, uh, we know that uh, we have sometimes some industrial constraints, some industrial partners that are not using OpenMDAO and would like to, uh, uh, by the way, use our, uh, our MDO, uh, MDO process. And we wanted to know if we were able to uh, export all what we have developed in OpenMDAO at some point in another framework, if we need to without redoing all the implementation effort that we have done for, for OpenMDAO. So that was kind of a proof of concept for that. The, the, the goal is to, to, yeah, to study the, the, the robustness of the code generation approach to another API, another, uh, another type of, uh, of, of framework. Okay, I think uh, that's all the qu time that we have uh, questions for. If you have uh, further questions, you're welcome to I'll be there email. for the three days. Exactly, exactly. So discuss. thank you very much, Thanks. Sebastian. I really appreciate it.